In this spotlight video, we are going to look at how you can tweak your sound within Addictive Drums 2. Let's click Edit up in the menu to go to the Edit page. In the middle here, we have the versatile channel insert, one for every channel on the mixer. We got one each for the close mics for kick, snare, hi-hat, and so forth. Overhead, room, bus, and master also have their separate ones. I want to tweak the room a bit, but first off, let's take a snapshot of our current settings. Click down here to take a snapshot. There. Now all your current settings are saved in that snapshot. This is a great feature to easily compare settings when you tweak your sound and try stuff out. Now let's push up the room fader and give that a listen. There. Nice and lush. Maybe a bit heavy in the mids though, so let's try cutting a bit there in the EQ. There. Drier, but still nice and roomy. Let's try to cut the attack a bit too, with a shaper. And maybe compensate by boosting the sustain a bit there. That's nice. The M button down here mutes the room. Let's hear that. And here's with the room tweaked. Let's head on over to the master channel. You'll find that all the way out to the right here. Let's try boosting the upper mids to add a bit more definition. Yeah, that's better. Maybe also increase the overall attack by using the shaper. That's nice. Now let's take another snapshot of where we're at right now. Now this is what is so powerful. Now I can toggle between the first snapshot that takes us back to where we started and snapshot two with all the tweaking done. Let's listen to number one. And number two. Much better. Another way of tweaking your sound is the tone designer. The Tone Designer is a great tool that lets you shape the tone of a kit piece over time. To demonstrate this, I've got this 14x5 Sonar Snare selected over here. It's rich, punchy, and delivers loads of tone. Let's say I want to use this Sonar Snare. It's nice, but I want to tame it a bit. It's got a very upfront tone and ring to it. This is where Tone Designer is truly your friend. Let's hit play to listen to the snare in the mix. If I pull this end value down, you can hear the tone tapering off. There. The punch is still there, but the ring and tone is gone. Okay, now let's try going the opposite direction. We'll start from the neutral position. If I instead push the end value up, we boost the tone and can truly unleash the snare in the mix. In a song like this one, it can be really effective to add a reverb to the snare. Let's head on over to the effects page up in the menu where we found our effects modules. The two modules look the same. We can activate the second one here for you to see. There's a delay section, a reverb section, and an EQ. There's also a slider that lets you seamlessly mix the delay and reverb. All the way to the right is just reverb, but as you slide to the left, you get more and more delay, and if you slide it all the way to the left, you will just have delay in your mix. Now, let's see how we can spice up this snare. Let's hit play and see what it sounds like in the mix. First off, let's add some reverb to the close mic channel. That's a bit too much. There. Then let's add some to the overhead too. And the room. 
really nice and lush. So, there you have it. A lot of great ways to tweak your sound in Addictive Drums 2. Good luck now, and have fun creating. <laughs>